Hi So Carbers, Ashton here from Ash Cook So Carbs. This week I've taken a recipe from The 4 Hour Chef by Tim Ferriss and it's going to be posted on the Finding My Fitness blog. Um, I've recently been in touch with its founder via Twitter and we are hoping to collaborate on a few things in the future. So please check out his website, all the details are going to be in um, the description below. Um, it's a really easy recipe. Only a few ingredients, some things that you will probably just have in your house. Um, and I am using my new vegetable spiralizer, but don't worry, I'll show you in the recipe how you can do it if you don't have one. Check out the ingredients below and let's get started. So here we have all the ingredients for the um, courgette parpadelli. Uh, courgettes, obviously, I'm gonna use my new fancy gadget. And in here we have ground almonds, uh, parsley, and two teaspoons of garlic. So I'm gonna show you um, how to use the vegetable spiralizer, but if you don't have one of these, you can use um, what I did the first time I made the recipe, just one of these. Um, just like, basically, you're gonna do it as if you're peeling the whole thing until you get to the seeds. And then that way you will have nice little strips of courgettes. So I'm going to show you how to use the spiralizer now. Okay, so we've attached one of our courgettes um, to the machine. And then basically you just twist. Just hold on to it. Takes a few seconds. And there's loads of different um, like blades and different functions that you can use. So I'm going to do a few different types and then show you what they all look like. So this is the second blade and you can see it's like more of a spiral. Um, so you can either use this for like potatoes or like any veg really that you want, you can use this one. So it's really handy. And then this is the last blade that I got with it. So it gives you kind of like more spaghetti-like. So you're gonna cook all of these. And again, it's great for like any vegetable. Gives you a little bit of exercise on your arms as well, which is never a bad thing. So we are frying off a little bit of olive oil, just going to wait till it gets hot and then we're going to put in our different types of courgette. Uh, this recipe comes from Tim Ferriss's For Our Body, uh, so it's definitely slow carb. It's really easy to make because he wants to like show you how to cook quickly and easily like I do. Um, so we're going to get that a little bit hotter and then we're going to add our courgette. So I've literally just put all of the courgettes in there. You can hear them frying. Um, what we want to do is just use a fork to make sure that everything's nice and hot. See, it's quite cool looking. It's like pasta. And you just want to cook it for like two or three minutes. The reason I'm using a fork is so I can get into everything. Make sure everything is nicely covered in the olive oil. Oh. Just let that cook for a few minutes and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. So it's been cooking for a few minutes. So I'm going to add in the rest of my ingredients, which are the parsley, the ground almonds and the garlic. If you want, you can add onions as well to this, but I'm just sticking to the straight recipe for this time. Um, and then we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, obviously, to taste. That's pretty much done. Just trying to make sure everything is coated in the almonds and the garlic. Of our molding 
sea salt. I'm sure you're all aware that I absolutely love salt. So I'm taking two pinches. You guys work to what you like. And then just a pinch of pepper. Also in this recipe it calls for like um, a little bit of lemon juice just over the top. Uh, slow carb people know that uh, we're not really allowed to have fruits, but it just adds an extra dimension to the taste. So, you know, you don't have to worry too much about a little bit of lemon juice in your recipe, but if you are trying to lose weight, just avoid it the first time and then maybe on your cheat day you can have with the lemon. So we're just going to let that cook down for another few minutes and then I'll show you the finished product when it's done. And there you have it, slow carb pasta, really quick to make. You can have it as a main dish like I'm going to have right now or you can have it with something on the side. Um, if you're having lamb or chicken, it just goes really well with anything. So try it out. Let me know what you think. Super easy recipe that you can have as a main course by itself or as a really great side dish to have with any of the main courses that you are having on your slow carb diet. Um, if you have any questions or see any recipes that you'd like me to try out, let me know. Please, please, please don't forget to go on to the Finding My Fitness blog and check out all the recipes on there as well. Um, if you like these videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. Only six days cheat day.